today we are going to be making the probably the best potato salad you've ever eaten or at least i'd like to think so all right let's get started on today's video so i hope this video finds you getting ready for your fourth of july picnic or your summer picnic because you're going to want to make this i think you're really going to like this but we're going to start out by making the dressing that's going to go up on top of the potato salad now a lot of these things uh, I eyeball and I would suggest just do it to your liking because everybody's different on how wet they like it or dry they like it or so just you know about that much mayonnaise I'm using Miracle Whip or the light Miracle Whip you use whatever makes you happy and then yellow mustard maybe a couple of tablespoons full. I'm gonna use just a little bit of my Creo brown mustard. Maybe a, a tablespoon full. Just a mix. I'll put some salt and pepper in it. Maybe a, t a teaspoon. And plenty of black pepper. To our little dressing here, I'm going to add some sweet pickle relish and some dill pickle relish, about that much. And then I'm going to cut up, <laughs> that needs to be in a blooper somewhere. Then I'm going to cut up a little bit of a jalapeno. These come from my garden. I'm so stinking excited about buying dice on them. I left the seeds in. If you don't want it spicy, take some of the seeds out. Get that in. Give it a mix. All right, let's get our salad put together. I'm using small red potatoes i cooked them in the instapot for 10 minutes and you let them uh, come down to pressure on their own for about 10 minutes and then they're and i st then stick them in the ice box because this is a cold potato salad i am not going to cut the skins off i kind of like the skins in them so you can make these as chunky as you want or not that is just completely up to you it is your potato salad This probably could have used more potatoes of these little bitty ones. Okay, now we're going to cut up a boiled egg. Again, I cooked these in the Instant Pot. It's pressure for five minutes. Let it naturally release for five minutes, and then let it set in ice water for five minutes. And you dice your eggs just as fine as you want them. But this is what I like about an Instant Pot. They just turn out so pretty. I'm not making a huge batch today because it's just me and Kendra that'll eat it. My husband's not a fan. He doesn't like cold potatoes or mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. Again, you add as much egg as you want here. I'm going to add two. Almost missed a potato. I'm going to cut a little... Just a little bit of green onion up. 
I got my cutting board here. All right, so we're gonna add some red onions. Uh, about a half a cup. Let's add some of our dressing. Now, don't do all at once because you don't want just a ton on there. I'm okay if there's a little left because I'm gonna make. Oh crap! I'm I'm okay if there's a little left because I'm gonna make some egg salad and I would basically put the exact. We're same. gonna give this a taste. You always want to taste to make sure you've got a salt, pepper, and all that stuff on it. That is really stinking good, my friends. So if you've made it this far into the video, I want you to comment in the comment section below what is your favorite type of potato salad. Do you even like it? My husband's not a fan. And while we're at it, if you would, hit that thumbs up for me. That sure does help me out a lot. Um, let's YouTube know that you like me. And hey, in my analytics, it says most of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. It's not costing you anything, but it sure does help me out. So, here you go, my friends. Homemade red potato salad. I hope you will give this video a try. Hey, if you like this, I've got a chicken salad video that I want you to check out right here. And we'll see you guys on the next video.